Dozens of puppies who survived a car crash in Texas are now right here in San Diego. They were on their way from Louisiana when the van they were in flipped. Let's go live to our Shannon Handy at the Helen Woodward Animal Center with more on this. Shannon, want to know if you've picked one out yet? They're sure <laughs> are cute. I have picked out more than one of these <laughs> arrived here at 10 a.m. You can see all these crates behind me. And since that hour, employees here have really been working hard to make sure they're all safe and healthy and, of course, feeling loved. Here's one of them I'm considering. This is Emmeline. This is one of the 38 puppies who survived that crash. You can see just how sweet she is. And I can tell you I've seen the majority of them, which you guys will see in a minute or may not see in a minute because we don't have video, but they are all very sweet. And with me now is Jessica Girk. She is with the Helen Woolworth Animal Center. So first of all, tell us what happened with this crash. How did it happen? Yeah, we received a call yesterday morning very, very early because the crash actually happened in Longview, Texas at, I believe, about one in the morning. Um, so our team was woken up and told that a transporter van that was coming out here with these puppies had crashed and slid across the highway and they had called police and firemen and they were doing the rescues on these pets. And sadly, I know there were 40 puppies on board. Two did not survive. But again, these 38 puppies who did made their way here, some have some injuries. So what happened once they arrive? Have they been checked out? They have all been checked out. And in fact, they were checked out by the, the firemen when they were in Longview. Then they went to an emergency vet and then they came out here. And of course, our veterinary team was right on top of making sure they had thorough checks. Um, one of them has a broken leg. There's a minor uh, head injury on one of them and there are some scratch corneas and things like that, like eye injuries. Those puppies, of course, will stay with us until they're fully healed. Um, but quite a few of them did really beautifully, as you can see by Emma Lynn. And of course, these dogs, every time I'm around dogs, I realize how incredible they are and how resilient they are. And they're always ready to love and move on to the very next thing. And we've really been loving to spend time with these puppies today. Yeah, so have I. And I just want to go back because this crash happened as the dogs were already on their way here. They were already coming to Helen Woodward. Talk about that relationship you have with the center in Louisiana. Yeah, so 95% of the animals that come out to Helen Woodward Animal Center come from rescue facilities that are overburdened where euthanasia is actually an issue. And you know, in other parts of the country, they don't have the same sort of spay and neuter laws. They have challenges and maybe fewer shelters and fewer adopters and so they'll reach out to us and say please can you take these animals otherwise we're gonna have to there's gonna be a sad ending for them so so many thousands of animals come through our doors through transporter vehicles and I can say in the 11 years I've been here and then somebody I work with who's been here 23 years we've never seen an accident happen because there's so much love and care put into transporting these animals and getting them to their forever homes uh, this was just actually a freak accident and it was absolutely horrifying and and heartbreaking to all of us but I feel like there's a little Christmas miracle or something, some holiday miracle that looked out for these babies. And we've got 38 of them here, and we're so, so grateful for that. And by the way, the driver of that van is going to be okay as well. Now, I'm sure the next question that you, Heather, Jesse, maybe some of our viewers have is when will these puppies be ready for adoption? So what's the next step beyond today? Yeah, so after they had their medical checks, the ones that turned out fine and all seem very healthy and ready to go, they're spending a lot of their nights in foster homes. We have wonderful fosters to give them kind of a soft place to spend the next couple days as they rest and, and kind of, you know, heal from any sort of traumatic incident. And then uh, many of them, probably about 20 of them, will go available for adoption this weekend. And that's, of course, always our goal. Find them their forever loving home. It's the most important thing to us and why they were coming out here in the first place. And to see them spend their holidays with a forever family would be just, just such a gift to all of us. It would be. I mean, just in time for Christmas, not only a great gift, but again, a great addition to the family for years to come. And of course, I know you guys do your due diligence. So when someone applies to bring one of these puppies home, you really do your homework and make sure that they're going to to a forever home, right? Yes. Um, as for how you can get more information, once these dogs become available, they're going to put it on their website, the Helen Woolward Animal Center website. They'll also have it on their social media pages. They'll have pictures and descriptions. I can tell you guys, I know our video isn't working right now, but they are all so cute. They are of different breeds. They're not the same breed, and they're all little puppies like 
Emmelyn is, how old do you think Emmelyn is? I think is? about three months. Most oh of them goodness. are about that age. And we're really, so they're all beautiful. Like you said, there's Catahoula leopard dogs, and we've got some beagle looking things, and shepherds, <laughs> and this is, looks kind of spaniel. And the Each one is absolutely beautiful in its own way. They are so beautiful and so cute. And Heather and Jesse, if you guys want to leave the set right now, I have a feeling that our producer, our <sighs> news director, I think they'll be okay if you just take off and say, look, I got to head over to the Helen Wilbur Animal Center before they close so I can take a look at For some, some of puppy puppies. kisses. I want to bring home this weekend, right guys? Oh my goodness, Shannon, I am trying to yes, practice the most kisses. self control right now <laughs> so I don't run out of here and go end up with three puppies in my apartment by Christmas. I know, me too. My kids want a puppy so bad, and if they see me on TV right now, they'll say, Mommy, why didn't you bring one home? Right. And I will say, you know, I have been here throughout the day, and a lot of them are nervous. Um, they were shaking a bit because they've mm -hmm. obviously been through some trauma, but just watching the staff here give them the love and the care they need. I was able to go in the exam area to see these exams. It was just really, really heartwarming to watch. Uh, you know, it's like it's like dealing with little babies and you could see, mm. you know, after a little while they became more comfortable. Like this one is just sitting in your arms. Oh, she's ready, yeah. She says, she says I don't, I wanna forget all that and I wanna be with my new forever family. Yeah, oh. yeah. I mean, she seems calm guys. and ready to go. I don't know if I have a better selling point than this yeah. little face right here. Shannon, thank you. Thank you so much. I have a feeling to find out that some of them may be available for adoption Christmas Eve. <laughs> Um, yeah, you may want to get there early yeah. and fill out that application because you're not going to be the only one. Yeah. Christmas puppies might be a thing this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. All right. All right, Shannon. Thank you so much.